Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. This spring and fall we're hosting a whole brand new series of workshops for teachers for math, science, English, and history. You should check out these workshops. We're going to be holding them in Massachusetts, in Florida, in New York, in California. Check them out. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Take care. Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. Today we're going to work on number 44 on the CBEST elementary math practice test. As I read over the question, I want you to work out the problem with a scrap sheet of paper and a pencil so that you're getting the practice as I, as I go about working through it, okay? So let's, let's take a look at number 44. It says, use the information below to answer the question that follows. And then we're given a scenario. Now when I read this scenario, I want you to stop the video and reread it again so that you have it, you've read it at least once or twice on your own. And then you can um, turn back the video on, okay? All right, so let's look at this. Bullet point number one. If the distance to a destination is greater than 10 miles from home, then Matt will drive his car. If the distance to the destination is greater than 2 miles, but less than 10 miles from home, then Matt will ride his bicycle. If the distance to a destination is less than 2 miles from home, then Matt will walk. Now pause the video, read that to yourself. You want to take a moment, you want to read it. Read it over, and as you read it over, I want you to visualize, you know, the scenario here. Okay, I'll continue. If Matt rode his bike to Zachary's apartment, which of the following statements could be true? And then we have some options here. Matt's home is less than one mile from Zachary's apartment. B, Matt and Zachary live within two miles of each other. C, Zachary's apartment is about seven miles from Matt's home. D, Zachary's apartment is at least 10 miles from Matt's home, or E, the round trip distance between Matt's and Zachary's is greater than 20 miles. Okay, <sighs> lots of wording and information here. What am I gonna do first? The first thing I'm gonna do after reading it over is I'm gonna go back to the scenario and I'm gonna organize the information. What I'll do is I'll make a little, a little make a little chart here for myself here. Now, now I have two miles, I got 10 miles, and this will be 10 miles plus. Now anything, it says here that um, anything greater than 10 miles is a car, right? So, if I, so anything greater than 10 miles, Matt's driving. And Matt's like 12 years old, so this is just unbelievable. Matt's driving his car, um, anything over 10 miles, he's driving. Then I go to the second one. If the distance is greater than two, but less than 10, Matt's riding his bike. So we got the bike in between here. Anything in between two and 10 is the bike. And then finally, if it's, if it's, less, than, if it's less than our two miles, what is Matt gonna be doing? Matt's gonna be walking. So I'll, I'll just place that in here. He's gonna walk. Then it says, if Matt rode his bicycle to Zachary's apartment. Well, if he rode the bicycle, then doesn't that mean that it's gotta be, you know, between two miles and 10 miles? Because that's the, that's the range in which Matt rides his bike. So if that's the case, if we know it's gonna be between two and 10 miles, then we can go through these and answer these with confidence. For example, Matt's home is less than one mile from Zachary's apartment, that wouldn't be true. Because we're looking for something that's um, gonna be greater than two miles, um, but less than 10. Zach and uh, Matt and Zachary live within two miles of each other. Again, still not correct, because if it's within two, he'd be walking, just like uh, the first scenario, he should have been walking. So both of these are wrong. Zach, Zach's apartment is about seven miles, well, the thing is, it's saying could be true. So potentially seven miles could be true. It could be 3.5 miles to Zachary's house and 3.5 miles back or, you know, um, or it could be, you know, seven miles there. That, that falls within the range. And so C is the one that's correct because it could be a value in which uh, Matt would be riding his bike because it's between two and 10. But let's just read through these other ones to make sure they're not right. Zach, Zachary's uh, apartment is at least 10 miles from Matt's house. 
What that's saying is that it could be more than 10. And we know that anything that's greater than 10, Matt's going to be driving his car, so we cross that one off. And the round trip distance between Matt and Zachary's house is greater than 20 miles. They left out the house there, but we know what it means. Well, we, again, that is saying that, you know, the round trip is going to be at least 10 miles one way and at least 10 miles the other way, meaning, meaning it exceeds the 10 mile mark in one direction, and we cross that one off. So we, we can get to this answer C with confidence um, really easily just by setting up some sort of model drawing that organizes the information that's in the scenario. This is a really important skill that you build, not just for these you know, elementary math practice tests, but for the middle school and high school math practice exams. A quick sketch of information really helps organize it and such simplifies the information in the passage in such a way that you can go through the answer choices and eliminate uh, ones very quickly and get to the right one um, as, as fast and as accurately as possible. Okay team, this is Chris Abraham from GoMath. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a wonderful day. Take care.